Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 68 tonight and a little on the personal side tonight, but it's good. It's really, really good. It's Psalm 68 verses 5 and 6. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. And I was one of those fatherless guys. My mom got a divorce when I was two and a half. Uh, her husband at the time, he w he got into drinking, put his fist uh, uh, right next to her face. I don't think it was through the wall, but it, w it, it hit the wall, and my mom was like, nope. And she left. And she remarried when I was 18, and I still consider this that man to to this day to be my father. He's a good guy, but for pretty much the entirety of my school life, I just had my mom. It was the single the single parent experience, and it was not fun. It wasn't easy. Uh, she was always struggling. She like never had her own place. Did she have her own place in her entire life? For brief periods of time, for like two or three years here and there, she had her own place. Um, trying to remember. There might have been one stint of time where it was like maybe 10-ish years, but I don't know. It may have been like five years and then oh, lost it, five years and then lost it, I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. I guess it's really neither here nor there. But anyway, yeah, single, being the son of a single mom isn't, it wasn't easy on her. It wasn't easy on me. Um, it wasn't an easy life. At the exact same time when I did come to know Jesus, when I did become a Christian, I had a very special connection with him. Had a very special connection with God. Probably because I didn't know any other father. And I don't doubt that's one of the reasons I know him as closely as I do today. It's a bit of a hard journey, but the Lord gave me a lot of joy and a lot of peace for that journey. He made the way. And once I got to know him, um, and I wasn't a non-Christian anymore, but I was a Christian, the walk definitely became a whole, whole lot easier. Um, I leaned on God, I depended on Him, despite my sinful nature, despite my multitudinous mistakes, He made the journey a lot more peaceful and a lot more easy once I got to know Him. So, I can personally attest to the fact that that verse is true. There's not much more I can say. Uh, it's based on my experience. I, I don't think anyone can actually prove that verse. Yeah, how do you prove that this invisible God is a father of the fatherless? Uh, I, I'm not here to present um, a scientific apologetic proving the physical certainty of this verse. I'm just saying from my personal experience, I made it. And once I became a Christian and God became my father, I can tell you just... For, for me, it was a whole lot easier. And I have a closeness to God that I treasure. And it's see and it just it's 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 awesome. It's really, really good stuff. So like the guy I have now is my dad, even now that my mom is dead, still count him as my father, keep in touch with him. But I have a special connection with God because of my background and even though it had its hard parts I'm thankful for it it was good so there you go that's a little bit more about me and hopefully an encouragement to any other um, dudes or dudettes out there who don't have one of their parents um, God will take care of you he will fill in that gap and even though he is the father and I'll say most of the time the mothers get the custody anyway, but even if the father got the custody, God created woman. God created females. So he knows how to nurture, how to um how to love, how to how to be close and intimate. He knows all he knows all about those things. The things that the females have, God has those things as well. Otherwise, 
women wouldn't have them. Oh, humans get what they get from God. So he is the father. I'm not detracting from that in the least. When Jesus came, he came as a man. But whether, whether it's a, a mother or a father you're missing, God can fill in that gap. And he did so with me. So that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you very much, and God bless.